In this video, we're going to take a first look at the brand new volumetric lattice tool that was added with the product manufacturing extension in Fusion 360. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in this video, I'm gonna cover something that I generally would avoid covering. And that's a tool that was added to an extension in Fusion 360. Now, in general, I don't plan on covering extensions because they cost additional money. And I know a lot of people out there looking for content are probably on a hobby or free license. So in Fusion 360, if you don't know already, there are certain tools or things that are behind what are called extensions. Now, extensions have been a way for Autodesk to break up the functionality from the basic stuff that most users need and more advanced tools like four and five axis machining, for example, or PDM, a product data management. That allows you to check in and check out designs when you're working in a design team. So the extensions can be found with the little plug icon that you see in the upper right hand corner of Fusion. Now it is important to note that not all functionality is in all license types of Fusion. So if you're on a hobby license, you probably aren't going to see this. But just note, these are all the available options. Things like additive simulation, for example, you can purchase one day access, but it's zero cloud credits because it's in preview. There's an option for simulation where you can access this and then you don't have to use cloud credits for certain simulation types that are cloud solve only. But what we're interested in here is something called the product design. This was just added yesterday and this is the first time that I'm actually taking a look at this volumetric lattice tool. It's also important to note that they added this organic mesh conversion. This is something that we've covered before where we've had to take a design into Blender convert it to a quad mesh to bring it back into Fusion 360. Now this tool is added here. I haven't touched it or played with it yet, so I don't know how well it works, but the, it is here, it is an option. So for people that are looking to stay completely in Fusion 360, what does that mean for creating a lattice structure or using this to convert mesh bodies? Well, generally in the US at least, it means that it's initially another $400 a year to access it. So with Fusion 360 and this extension, you're looking at around $800 a year, depending on when you buy and what sales are running and so on. But again, for this video, we're gonna cover specifically the volumetric lattice tool. So I'm gonna use start seven day free trial, and then we're going to purchase. Now that it's added, we also note that we need to go into our user preferences. We need to find preview features, and we need to turn on volumetric lattice. So even though it is included in the product design extension, it is a preview feature. So some of the stuff that's in there is, is already fully released, but this is actually in preview. So we need to make sure that we turn it on. So you'll notice that if you have extensions available, that you'll have the plastic tool option. So this has been added because I started the seven day free trial, which means that all the new tools don't have the little icon over it things like the plastic design rules and so on. But modify volumetric lattices, again, this is the one that we're looking at. So we're gonna take a look at this. Now, I also do wanna mention that I have not touched this tool yet at all. This is the first time that I'm looking at it and you can tell because this is the first time that I'm activating the extension because this just came out today. There's no way for me to have actually touched it or played with it yet. So I wanted to record this the first time going through just to see what it looks like, to see how easy it is to use, see if we can figure out how it works. So first we need to select the body, easy enough. And we already have a preview on the screen. Now from the limited amount of reading that I've seen on this, it will work on both solid bodies like we're designing here and mesh bodies. So if you're importing an STL or an OBJ, that is something that you can use this on, which is a pretty cool option. So as we look at this, we've got gyroid, we've got cross, and we've got the Schwartz P option. So depending on what your design intent is, we have these three options, and then we can modify things like the scale. Let's go ahead and change this to five. You can see that automatically makes it quite a bit smaller. If we change it larger to 15, now we're creating this sort of larger structure. 
Let's go back to the gyroid option. That looks pretty cool. We can do uniform and non-uniform, which is uh, it's a pretty interesting option. So in the Y direction, maybe I want to change this to be 15 and keep it 10 in the X and Z directions. There's a move and rotate option, so we can change the orientation of the lattice, which again is also a pretty neat feature. And now that we've got sort of the basic setup, I'm gonna go back to uniform, leave it at 15. Then I want to move to the solidity. Uniform or gradient along path. That's pretty interesting. Gradient along path probably means that it's going to be more or less on one side. And at zero at the start, I probably want to increase that, let's say to 15. And at the end, maybe we want that to be 15 as well. So the gradient along path looks like it gives us the option to make it a little bit more spread out, make the lattice a little bit more volumetric in nature. You can see we've got more space in there. So pretty neat feature. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that and move on to offset. So the offset option from, again, my limited reading on this tool, this is what allows us to create solid faces on the outside. So I want to select the cylinder. I, I need to make sure that the cylinder is solid. I'm going to change the thickness of this to five millimeters. And also notice that there's a solidity option. I wonder what this does. Let's go ahead and reduce this. And you can see that it allows us to have partial solidity. So that can help, especially if you're designing this and you're building it in sort of a liquid or a powder type 3D printer. That could be a great option to ensure that the powder actually comes out. Let's go ahead and solidify a couple more of these faces. And let's go ahead and do the fillet as well and the top. And then we can leave this back and the bottom part open. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave this entire front face open and we'll just take a look at it as an open bracket. So that looks pretty cool. All right, so let's say okay and let's see what the end result is. Let's see if this is actually a solid body still. So it does look like a solid body. If I go to inspect and I take a look at creating a section analysis, let's go ahead and do a section analysis from the back. So as we drag through, you can see that we've got this lattice structure on the inside. And if I rotate this plane a little bit and just cut through, you can see as we begin to cut through that cylinder or that bore that we've got solid walls around it. So this is a really, a really neat way for us to create those three different types of lattice. So very easy for us to use. And um, you know, that, that solves a lot of problems. A lot of things that we try to do by exporting to Blender and or using the forms tools to cr try to create some sort of custom lattice. I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna go to opacity and set it at 50% so we can see inside of it a little bit. And um, you can see it's struggling a little bit, but uh, it still looks pretty cool. All right, so that is the first look at this new volumetric lattice tool in Fusion 360's extension for product design. There are other tools in here that I do plan to cover in this next seven day trial. I really wanted to take a quick look at this because I knew this was something that we had already covered before. And now we can at least see what Fusion 360 can do. At this point, if you have any questions about this or if you've played with it also and you have any sort of experience or feedback on what you've done or seen with it already, then please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.